Hey everyone, what's up? It's Mike Deary, and I am shooting my 2016 State of the Strings address. So I'm anything but political, and pol politics aren't really a big part of my life, but I thought it was a fun title and amply named, and uh, certainly relative to where we're at right now and the upcoming year. So in this brief video, I just wanted to outline, you know, the plans I have for the guitar sites I run and what's going to be new in 2016, and also to urge you guys to give your input and feedback on what you want to see. So uh, the first thing to note is that you're either a member of rockguitarpower.com or superguitarlix.com if you're seeing this video. These are two websites that I run, created, and create a lot of the content for. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to mention is that if you're a member of either but don't know about the other one, so in other words, rockguitarpower.com and superguitarlix.com, uh, this video is going to be relevant to both because they're both kind of big projects in mind that I forward. And if you're not a member of either, definitely go check them out. There's free programs to get you started and check out the, the content and the lessons that we offer on each. Super Guitar Licks, if you haven't checked it out, has a lot more to do with soloing and lead. And rockguitarpower.com has a lot more content for everything. You know, basically, if you haven't touched the guitar, you can learn from square one with our beginner lessons. And they go all the way up to teaching more advanced stuff uh, for theory, songwriting, uh, jamming, improvising, all that stuff. So first point of interest, if you haven't checked out either of the sites, please do. We have a lot of members who are members of both and know what goes on, but if you haven't checked out, definitely do that. Okay, the other things I wanted to talk about are goal setting for 2016. Now I'm not actually a big huge goal setting person, I just kind of think of what I want to accomplish and start jumping right on it. But there are two things that I wanted to achieve this year. Um, but I also wanted you to urge, I wanted to urge you to share your thoughts and ideas. Because this video is not really about me, it's definitely about you guys and what I could do to help you more with your guitar playing uh, endeavors. But two things that I'm really excited about and my only two big goals for this year coming up are definitely to finish a new album of acoustic songwriting, uh, acoustic fingerstyle music. This has been the style of music that I've been focusing the most on the last year. I've been learning a lot of new cover tunes, I've been writing a lot of new music, and it's definitely time for me to actually finish up a full album of my own original material, which I really haven't done any to any length in the past. I had an EP of some electric stuff, and but I've been so into this style of music and I'm loving it, so one of the things I'm really excited about is finishing a new album in 2016. Uh, the other thing that I really want to do more is gig more, uh, just even if it's on a local level. I don't gig a whole ton. I love the studio environment. I don't travel a lot for, for music. I might start thinking about expanding that out, but even just gigging it out to play at local places is something I'm excited to do more of. I really like learning the really complex stuff, so it takes a while for me to get new content ready for a full show. But those are two big goals that I'm excited about. And again, the biggest thing that I wanted to urge you guys to do out there is share your goals with me. Even if it's private, um, you know, it really helps to get those ideas out. So you can email me at mike at rockguitarpower.com or mike at superguitarlix.com. Okay, I get all my emails the same place. I respond to everything personally. So please, email personally. If you have questions, suggestions, or just want to say hi and let me know how your progress is coming along. I love finding that stuff out and I'm always there to help guide you to point you to other lessons on our sites that you may not know about to help you achieve your new goals. So please share with me what your goals are in 2016, what you want to accomplish, because my big focus is to help you achieve them. So that's one big thing I wanted to point out in this video and get it out right away. So please email me. Let me know what you're up to. Uh, Mike at rockguitarpower.com or Mike at support or at superguitarlix.com. Okay, so I got those two things out of the way. I got my little cheat sheet here to kind of keep me on track. Um, so the other couple things that I've been working on um, lately have been some recording of a band that is that was formed by one of my old students. Aaron Rizzo has just been a rock star from day one. I worked with him when he was about nine years old, this big. Totally grown up now, he's in college and cranking away, but his band has been in the studio, which has been a lot of fun to work with. We recorded a new track, and I'm really excited to get back to the producing, recording, and mixing world. So that's something I've been doing uh, over this kind of holiday break. Um, and the other thing is just writing a lot and learning new cover tunes. Uh, really this is my time of year to kind of really focus on writing and learning and the new finger style music uh, that I've been studying for the last year has definitely been my focus. So those are the two big things that I've been kind of focused on. 
Uh, the other thing that I want to note coming up, I got a lot of travel coming up this month, and um, once I get back in mid-February is when I really plan to hit on developing a lot of new programs, uh, ideas, and other things. So I got uh, a cruise coming up uh, next week, and that is something I do every year that involves a lot of business networking, actually. It's all actually a big group of marketers who all have online businesses for the most part. And it's where I get a lot of new ideas, meet a lot of new contacts, and just find people to help forward the types of businesses that we do. And my big one being this passion of helping people learn guitar. So that's something coming up that I look forward to because I totally kind of disconnect for the week. Then I'm home for a few days, and then I'm actually going on a 10-day snowboard trip with my brothers and some friends, which is also becoming an annual thing that I absolutely love doing. So once I get back from all that travel, be about mid-February, I'm really going to be hitting out uh, a lot of new content and starting up a lot of new things. Which brings me to the next thing I wanted to talk about which is what do you guys want to see more of in 2016, all right? Everything I do on both of these guitar sites and hire other people to do uh, is for helping you guys get better and learning uh, what you want to learn. So one of the big things that I want to and plan to do more of right when I get back is starting more of the live question and answer guitar lessons. This is something I did in 2015 for a little bit. I was working with a company to test out their new online video software but I have other software that I want to plan on using that I know works and it keeps it simple but it was a great experience I got a lot of great feedback and the people that are out there even if you don't like to interact or, or type in your questions or whatever I know a lot of people got a lot out of this so starting you know mid-February something I plan on doing more of is doing these these big group lessons where I have a main subject or two that I talk about, but the big idea is for you just to type in your questions and I could talk live on answering and giving you the best advice I can on helping you with what you're struggling with. Because the other thing to keep in mind is that what you're working on and struggling with or want to get better at is always something that somebody else is in that same boat. All right, Other people want to learn it, other people have the similar questions, and it's a great way for me to help more people is for you to just uh, watch live type questions and I record everything so you could always watch the replay but that is something I'm really excited to do more of and will be doing more of right away uh, again mid-February late February you'll start seeing more of that again just keep in tune to those emails and I'll be sending out the notice on how to sign up those are some I do that are free um, and I could usually get about 100 people on the call, but I might be looking to expand that if there's a big enough demand. So keep an eye out for that. All right, what else do we got? Um, so coming up, uh, the other thing that I wanted to uh, do more of is, is find out actually what you want for me to develop. I have plenty of ideas that I always can develop as far as new courses, new lessons, and new programs, but one of the ways that you could help me out, help me help you out, is to tell me what you want, all right? I'll probably be creating out and sending out a survey to really just get the answers quick and easy and make it easy for you. But again, please email me and let me know. Some of the ideas that I had um, that are always an interest that I don't have big programs for already um, are a course to teach more recording. That's something I do in my studio here. I've, I've recorded and produced bands and albums for years. It's something I love doing, but I wanna make sure the demand is there. So if you're interested in learning more, even at a very basic beginner fun level at home, how you could get more into recording your own music or other people's music. Let me know if creating a course teaching these concepts is something that interests you. Um, it's very, very cheap and affordable to get started with minimal gear that's very powerful in your own home studio. But knowing how to use it and how to make good recordings is something that is always, I think, needed. So that's something I'm looking forward to, interest to, uh, to creating. Um, the other thing is finger style lessons. This has been something I've studied for a while now and I've gained a lot of skills on it and I'm excited to teach it if there's an interest. So while most of my lessons and sites deal with rock music and pop and, and all that type of stuff, um, you know, learning finger styles opened up so many doors for me. So if that's something that might interest you, let me know if the demand is there. I can create more lessons to teach finger style. But right now, one of the best resources I have is a, is a guy named Adam Rafferty. His website, Adam, uh, studywithadam.com, has been a huge resource for me. So check him out if you haven't already. Um, the other thing is I had this really cool idea that uh, something along the lines of collective songwriting. So this thought, I thought it might be cool, but again, I want you guys to tell me if you think it's cool. 
um, you know, having, even if it's not a full song, but one of the things that really was a lot of fun for me to develop is the guitar pro jam on rock guitar power. And that's something I, again, I would urge you to check out. I did plan on developing more pro jams for this right when I get back from all my traveling. But a, an idea I had along those lines was to have something along the lines of where maybe I or somebody else out there has an idea of a chord progression, a, a riff, a groove, whatever. Um, you know, if you lay it down, I could easily, if you send me the audio, I could easily put it on the site and have other members contribute maybe a solo, maybe, you know, add a guitar part to double it up, um, and just kind of have an ongoing song collective writing experience. Um, I don't really have the full mod of how this would work, but it's a cool idea that I think those of you that are out there that do like working with other musicians, we're getting to that point online where it's super possible to be do this not necessarily in real time but if we all stick by a standard it's something that might be a lot of fun uh, where we just pick a groove pick a tempo pick a key signature and then everybody who's interested can kind of contribute maybe writing an eight bar solo a 16 bar solo creating a verse a chorus, whatever it's a cool idea i thought i had that i'd throw out there and wanted to see the general interest again always email me to let me know what your feedback is on all this stuff all right, what else do we got? A few other things. Um, the other, another kind of tip um, that I wanted to talk about real quick, and this is just one of those helpful tips that hopefully helps you decide something on what to learn. So one of our rock star students, Amanda Hoffman from Rock Guitar Power, she emails me a lot. Hi, Amanda. Uh, thank you so much for keeping me in touch with all your, your progress and all that. But one of the things that she asked me was how I decide... Number one, how I decide on new songs to learn and how she can uh, get over a hump of kind of being in a rut and not developing new skills. How do you find something to help you push you over that level where you're currently at? And this is something I get a lot from students, and I thought this might be helpful for all of you to know what I usually suggest. And personally, what happens for me is that I will hear something, whether it's a song I've, I've known forever or a new arrangement of a song, and when I hear something that's, and I say that is the coolest thing, I got to learn that. No matter what, I got to learn that. That is something that I use as my litmus test of saying, all right, this is something I'm going to now go learn. I know it involves techniques I don't know or I'm not good at, and that's one of the reasons why I want to learn it. Um, but if you ever listen to the radio, listen to uh, whatever, if you get introduced to something that you feel this super strong connection with, in my opinion, that is one of the ways to trust your instincts and say, this is what I want to go learn. It might involve a new type of guitar to study a new style of music. You know, in this case, fingerstyle. I went out and, and really did research on finding the best guitar to play fingerstyle with. It might involve learning a new solo, a, a developing a faster speed to, to get to playing certain things. Whatever it is. Um, you know, one of the ones that I found was um, uh, Andy McKee's version of um, the song by um, Tears for Fears, which is Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I heard that arrangement, and I'm like, i got to learn this. It's too cool not to. So those are something that's a big tip that I have for everyone out there. If you're trying to figure out what you should learn, because there's obviously there's so much music, even if it means holding out to finding that piece of music that really calls out to you, that draws you in so much that you want to learn it, that is what I focus on as saying, all right, this is what you got to do. Let's learn and figure out what are the techniques that you don't know how to do and then how to focus on learning them. That's how you really progress, by focusing on the things that you are so passionate about learning that you'll want to be there every day to practice and learn it. So that's one of my big tips. Again, this came up from a conversation in, with one of my students that I just emailed back and forth with. And these are the things that pop up when people communicate. So please, like I said, get in touch with me. I'm always there to, to respond. I even take phone calls. If you're that interested, you know, let me know. We'll shoot me an email and we can get on the phone and I can help you. I like helping to that level as much as I can. So those are the, some of the main things I wanted to, to kind of just throw out there. So the big points, again, coming mid-February when I get back from travel, I'm going to be hitting a lot of things hard and helping you guys out. But in that time, I want to hear from you. You know, let me know what you're excited about, what you're working on, what your goals are for 2016. Again, even that private context, it helps you to write them out and let me know, and I can help you achieve them. Uh, so that's about it. Again, email mike at rockguitarpower.com, mike at superguitarlicks.com. If you haven't checked out either of those sites, go out there, please, and check them out. 
and I'll also be sending out more suggestions in 2016 of other resources. That is something that I have not done enough of and that I plan to do more of is, is showing and pointing you guys to the resources that help me a lot online and that I think are great and valuable. And by all means, if you have resources that you like that are not the sites that I run and manage, please let me know and share, and we'll, we'll make sure that everybody in the community here gets those. So that's about it. This is Mike Deary signing off 2016. But again, please keep an eye out for new emails from me and new videos, new lessons, and so forth. And we look forward to really pushing, uh, pushing your levels and developing new skills in 2016. Have fun, keep jamming, and we'll talk to you soon. Later.